Hey guys, this is the Redstone Wizard here, and this is going to be the very first wool tour, and we're going to be doing it on my Redstone testing world. Like, uh, like in my video with uh, the Zuma Games tree farm, I said it may not be that big of a uh, world, but there's actually some quite interesting stuff in here. Now, a lot of the stuff I've built, but occasionally there's going to be something in here that I didn't build myself, but I was showing someone how to build it. I've actually I actually invite people into my redstone testing world so that they can uh, have an idea. So let's just start over here in the south uh, in the southernmost area. Now. I was working uh, for a while. I was working on trying to make a uh, portcullis. Now, for those that actually don't know what a portcullis is, a portcullis is the proper term for a castle gate. Now, this is the one that I actually went with because it works out pretty well. You hit the button, it closes. You hit the button again, it opens up. And it's three high, which is what I like. Very interesting build. Had I follow someone else's tutorial on this piston extension. Modified it because he had pistons here that were unneeded. And uh, not piston observers that were unneeded. And I well modified it and made it more compact. And as you can see, it works out well. Now, that, uh, this one is just a basic con uh, me slowly working on it. This one is busted. It doesn't operate right. It's supposed to extend it, open it. I just couldn't figure out how to get it to work, so I just left it alone like I do anytime something doesn't work. Then here's uh, another one. This one's uh, this one works doesn't work as well. It doesn't work on console at all because of the way the system is. You end up getting uh, blocks that are stuck up here. Because if I hit this button here, oh yeah, you got an observer there stuck in a bad place. Yeah, they just don't work right. Now, here we've got a uh, simple, this was up me just trying to figure something out, can't remember what I was figuring out. Oh yeah, it's minecart transferring items between and put loading up a shulker box pretty fast. Unimportant. But this right here is pretty interesting. This right here is a eight furnace. It's, well, it's an eight item sorter. You put a stack of items and each that and you get eight items transported out, which of course you do it with a furnace array just to get the maximum amount of stuff smelting really quick. Uh, let's see here. This is. Uh, I'm trying to remember what this is. Oh yeah, this was me just messing around with the uh, shelter boxes, trying to make a sorter. This right here is a shelter box merger designed by Paula Paula. Um, as soon as I can uh, break it down again, I'll probably put a tutorial out for it for you guys, just so that you guys will be able to use the shelter box splitter to start uh, merging your own shelter boxes afterwards. But I got to get this system over here that puts the larger one in the right and the correct side. This is the start of a uh, Il Mango design. The lightning, his light, his super fast potion brewer. Very, uh, I honestly wanted to make that. Like I said, I'm slowly working on just. I just work on a bunch of things. This is a modification of a shulker box loader. Trying to do my own style. This one is the same thing. It's a loader. And here's the uh, splitter. 
there's a single cell splitter that's just so that I can uh, be checking on things and I decided I'm gonna just slowly put them one over over so that I can uh, put things together okay now over here we have me modifying another one of Paula Paula's designs this is uh, another one of his shulker boxes uh, this is his uh, sh well, I'm trying to think of what it's called, but yeah, it's pretty much a loading system for shelter boxes where you put items in a chest and they filter out. It's a variable system, which I actually like the uh, variable sorting systems because you can utilize them pretty well. Just making a uh, breaking system and then the sorting system makes it a little hard. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Here's a uh, yeah. This was uh, this is the splitter again, and uh, over here we got me just playing around. I've got myself a well a piston caterpillar that is infinitely expandable. It actually goes all the way out here and all the way back. It does take a bit to get all the way out here unless you set it up right, but it's just something just to, it, for me it was something to do. I got bored one day. And here I'm, I was working on Il Mango's 2x2 uh, two two spruce, economic spruce tree farm, which doesn't seem to be working properly, so I'm trying to figure out how to make it work properly. Uh, we've got another, we got me working on it a different version of it right here which actually will pull the blocks out which follows along with more of Nimbom's 2x2 two two uh, spruce tree farm and here it's built in yeah as you can see blocks are out it doesn't work uh, let's see here more splitters me working on a shulker box loading so uh, it's shulker box storage that doesn't work entirely because the items don't go into the right place. I'll still working on that. Same thing with this one. It they don't work right, so I just fig try to figure out how to make them work right, and then I usually end up stopping for a while, then getting back to them later. Uh, let's see here. We have got the starting of a. One by, uh, of a, just a standard tree farm just to pull the logs out and move them around. The Zuma Games uh, tree farm that I featured in my last redstone video with the modification works flawlessly. Il Mango's universal tree farm heading up to the top as you can see we got pistons out. Yeah I've can't figure out how to make this one work. I want. I would love to have it working, but as soon as I can figure that out, that's going to happen. Yeah, let's get out of here. And we've got my the layout I used with the sugarcane farm, including one with rails. This design is originally made by Nimbom, which works out really well. Yeah, flying machines for a uh, de-leafer just because I uh, wanting to make something interesting continuing with trees I'm still working on a 2 by 2 trees farm, a spruce tree farm because I want the spruce trees here's the Mizuma Games item uh, tree farm along with an Il, Mil Il Mango tree splitter. Now, I'm just gonna break these real fast just to show you that it works. It, uh, just to send an item all the way over there. Let's see here. Uh, let's just take this and uh, plant, place, now what? Uh, it converts the logs into one high and pushes them out. Real, uh, really fast, really good. 
when I actually make my tree farm, it, just a standard tree farm, I'm going to use this layout with a huge piston wall. I need two piston walls to make it work right. I'll get this set up so that it works the way I would like it to. But yeah. And then just Christmas trees because when I was doing it, it was during the Christmas season. Yeah. Just something fun to do. Now let's get rid of those. Uh, then we've got a uh, I, uh, a shulker box call system. It actually is designed to take uh, shulker boxes, store them into a certain spot. So if I happen to throw a shulker box, it'll all go into this dropper. Activates the system and works. It just pulls them out. Small little bit of a uh, binary encoder. This one's just a 2-bit. Uh, so you only get four outputs. Uh, sorting system, uh, sort of a uh, item base, a, uh, you know, this is for sorting systems and whatnot. We've got a uh, starting of the, this is supposed to be a storage unit for it. I just haven't uh, created the proper functionality to finish it yet. I'm still working on it and I plan on getting it done at some point so that I can have a good calling sorting system using the binary encoder. Now this right here is my typical, well not that one, down here. This is my typical sugarcane farm that I make. It's fully automatic, able to collect the sugarcane as you need it. And right now it's a little bit broken, so let's power this. There we go. Pulls them all in. Now I got this uh, this idea, and uh, actually this design from Exuma, from the uh, uh, Exuma Void from the Hermitcraft server. He didn't put a tutorial out, but I figured out how he did it. Then showing someone the flying machine basics for it. Uh, let's see here. Then we've got uh, then we got uh, pumpkin and melon farms. Based off of this one is the mumbo jumbo design that creates a pumpkin and melon farm, and it this one's fully automatic. As soon as a uh, melon will grow. In fact, let me get a melon out here. It's not 100% lossless because of that, but they get flown out over here and they end up collecting in the chest over here, in the chest under here. Works with pumpkins too. Standard uh, furnace array, one that I really don't like. Then we got this one. Now, This one I actually do like because I can control it and which two furnaces smelt items. And in the back, items happen will just keep circling around until you get one item in here, which is your fuel, which goes here. This part, this half right here, is actually a uh, Tango Tech's uh, synchronized furnace array, which I actually like that system right there. Me showing, I uh, actually was brought someone in and showed them how to make uh, this basic sugarcane farm that is 100% lossless and highly efficient, except for when you do these. But it follows the same concept as if you place it. They all fire and you collect the sugar cane into the chest here. Because this was his design. As you can see, it's not 100% lossless. 
this is just me showing him the basic setup for it with a single piston which is that this one is a modification showing him how with it fully automatic and collectible oh, oh, pretty much almost 100% lossless then uh, let's see here over here we got a single cell iron farm which honestly if I'm going to do a single cell I'm going to get one that's going to be expandable like a uh, Groova guys <laughs> iron caster which is a 96 village now this one's not working because I eliminated all the villagers from it because I use villagers for different things uh, over here we have me testing a uh, potato cake uh, um, a, just a standard farm for a collection it's not gonna work too well I've just got the impulse SV quick sorter showed someone just uh, took a picture of it just to show them over here we've got my uh, starting of my own design for an iron uh, for an iron farm now I have to work out the layout and whatnot to make it work right but I right now I'm still I'm not sure if the slime blocks work properly on console or not but I've got the start of groove uh, this see here this one is yeah this is the hex 52 64 village iron farm I don't think it's gonna work on console because I'm pretty sure I'll have to adjust the timings a lot and it's not gonna work out as well we've got uh, this is the start of me trying to figure out how to transport zombies so that I can get them converted I'm making a zombie conversion chamber here uh, what else uh, we've got to do I think that's let's pop over into this part over here get another map out because I utilize the maps to see nope okay yeah and that's actually everything in my redstone testing world I don't have I after a while I've decided I'm just going to put things into different worlds just to make sure that if they work or not me testing and see if items that you pull from here gets you a lot of XP they don't then uh, standard sugar cane, uh, standard uh, bamboo farm which doesn't work on console because the uh, bamboo still act acts like a normal blocks when it's attached which I have testing somewhere here's a simple little flying machine for sugar cane uh, for a uh, for uh, kelp this one was an Omango design. I actually was helping someone understand how to work, make it work better. Then he's then also we've got the uh, Mumbo Jumbo three by three spiral piston door, which honestly, if you ask me, it's one of the most beautiful builds out there. We've got a uh, fun automatic kelp uh, sugar cane. No, I mean bamboo farm. Let's just put some. Uh, bone meal uh, bone meal in there just a stack and activate it while it's activating it just pushes the bamboo in a rapid manner to get it uh, just to grow it down over there and continue growing it like that until you run out of bamboo stop it uh, check the chest Hmm, I don't remember why this won't work. Ah, let's just grab a hopper and a chest, throw it there, hopper, and put it in there. Yeah, as you can see, we do collect the, bam uh, the bamboo. Now, here's the start of me trying to do a uh, bamboo farm for collection. 
Yeah, because I'm testing it here, and if I happen to bone meal this one, push this button, you'll notice that the bamboo gets dragged over. So, yeah, it didn't work at all. And then when this one's fully, oh, when this one's fully, uh, fully grown, it breaks it. And yeah, that right there was the basic design for my original uh, bamboo farm. But yeah, but like I said, my uh, redstone testing world's not that big. I do a lot of diff just different things. I'm actually keeping in my head a bunch of other redstone builds I have done. And I just continue to try to improve my capabilities for redstone. Now, I do highly recommend checking out some of the Java YouTubers and also check out a fair amount of console YouTubers for uh, redstone stuff because you'll be surprised what you can find out. Figuring things out for yourself is always great, but always check a YouTuber if you have any type of questions, because they might be able to give you an answer. But, well, I hope you actually enjoyed uh, my uh, redstone testing world, and I'm, uh, maybe uh, when I actually get a lot more stuff in it, I'll actually bring you guys back in and take a look at it. But, well, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.